When I was a little girl, I learned a concept called fasting. And at the time in my little eight-year-old brain, all I heard was, you go without food and water, and I wasn't really quite sure. And throughout my life, I tried it many times to be um, a connection to God, to help me feel that connection. But I never really gained a testimony of it until about four years ago. I had my youngest son, Titus, was going through a lot of issues. He had food allergies, he would get rashes, he had all these, doctors were starting to talk about autism and he really couldn't connect. And I remember walking in from a doctor's appointment so discouraged because I didn't feel like we had found an answer that was going to help my son. And I remember kneeling down by my bed and just praying so hard that I could just get one answer to help him. And the idea of fasting came to my mind and I decided for two days I was gonna fast. I was gonna go without food and water with the intent of finding an answer for my son, and I did. And throughout the entire fast, every time I felt hungry, I used that reaction to remind me to pray for that one intended concept that I wanted an answer to. And for two days, that's exactly what I did. And every time my stomach growled, I kind of pictured it as this is me sacrificing Heavenly Father, I need an answer. This is my intent geared towards the son who is hurting, who needs help. And at the end of that second day, the coolest thing happened. I felt so pure in my thoughts and my mind felt so clear, no cloudy, sugary highs or hunger lows. I just felt connected to God. And in a moment of that clarity, I got the answer that my son had a wheat allergy. And since that moment, his life has never been the same. I took him off weight and within days, he was calm and he was normal from what I remembered him being as a small baby. Um, so that's where my testimony of this concept came. I know lots of religions apply this in different places, but for me, it was to help my son heal. And so many times since then, I've used it for different answers to questions I've had, for overcoming different traumas that I just can't find an answer to because I know that God is listening. And as I've used that intent and that sacrifice to ask him specifically for certain things, he's given me those answers. So your challenge today, I think we're on day 18 and I know I am so behind. I've gone to Logan and I've gone to Florida and so many things that I um, have been distracted from this and my family's needed me this week. But I wanted to share that little thing, that little thought with you today. That if there is an answer that you want, you might not get the why to something, but God will show you how. He will show you how to apply his truth in your life on a decision you have to make, on a journey that you're on that you don't understand, what to do next, maybe a big decision. I don't know what you're going through, but if you need an extra tool today, my challenge is for you to fast. Set a specific time with a specific intent to have a little communication more clear with God. Maybe this week or next week, I like to do it on Sundays because I'm at church and it's a place, a, a time and a place where I'm already in the mindset to worship. But with that specific thought in mind, each time you fast, and you can't do this every day, this is not an everyday tool. I mean, so I, I do it maybe once a month, maybe twice. Um, but I promise it works. It clears up those fogs, those addictions. I'm addicted to Nutella. I've, this is, I'm coming out. I'm addicted. It takes away those dependencies on other things and gives you that straight connection to God. And I know that it can make a difference.